Good evening, good evening parents, carers and soon to be Year 7 students. My name is Lucy Leonello and I am a current Year 7 student at Norwood International High School. We would like to welcome you all to our Norwood International High School live stream. We acknowledge that we are on the traditional land of the Ghana people and pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging. We recognise and respect their cultural heritage, beliefs and relationship with this land and water. We acknowledge that they are of continuing importance to the Ghana, Ghana people living today. We are going to start off with the principal's welcome, followed by a day in the life of a Year 7 student at Norwood International High School. Then Ms. Gagliardi will talk about learning in Year 7. After that, Ms. Perez will talk about student life at NIHS. And then after that, Ms. Gagliardi will talk about key upcoming dates in 2023. And finally, we'll have a question and answer session. Hello, future Year 7 students and families. Uh, welcome to our live stream. My name is Danny Gagliardi and I have the great privilege of being the Year 7 Learning Community Leader here at Norwood International High School. Uh, we're really excited to talk to you about our transition program and all of the wonderful things we have to offer here, but we want this to be a little interactive. So as you can see on your screens right now, um, we have uh, a QR code and a website that you can log on to and join that will enable you to ask us some questions and share, share some thoughts. So please, um, if you've got a device you can use, you go to canva.live and pop that code in or scan the QR code um, and you will be able to then pop in your questions as we go along and we'll address those towards the end of the presentation. I would now like to introduce our wonderful principal, Jackie Van Ryten, who is going to welcome you all to our school. Hello everyone, and a very special welcome to Norwood International High School. As you know, my name's Jackie Van Ryten, and I'm the very privileged principal of this school. I have been principal for the last seven years, and I continue to be very excited about the dynamic and, and wonderful changes that continue to happen here. Most importantly, I would like to say to you is that Norwood International High School is an amazing place to learn, grow and discover. Indeed, we currently have 1,700 students across years 7 through to 12 and our students come from over 80 different cultural backgrounds. So we are truly um, diverse. We're able to actually support all of our students and we, one of the things that I think that we do so well here at Norwood International High School is that we are able to really uh, recognise the diverse skills, abilities, talents and passions that our students bring with them. They are indeed quite unique and uh, we do specialise in personalising learning and getting to our, know our students very well. I think as being a large, stu a large school, uh, we are able to offer so many different programs. In fact, I'm going to use the term diverse a lot, but we do have a diverse internationalised curriculum and also extensive range of co-curricular opportunities. You're going to learn more about those today. And I, I'd also like to just share with you that our, our vision is about developing engaged global learners. We really want our young people to be exposed to a range of opportunities and experiences, but most importantly, develop the capabilities of a global learner so they can truly um, be able to meet the challenges of this changing world. Over the last few years, Norwood International High School has undergone many, many changes, as you would know formerly Norwood Moriata High School across two campuses, we've recently experienced not only the amalgamation, a new school name, stunning new buildings, but also the introduction of the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program. But I would like to talk about our facilities, which I know that you're all going to enjoy so very much when you do come here to the campus. So Norwood International High School has experienced over $50 million of new facilities, whether it be refurbished or brand new. And I've got some stunning images to show you. Um, you'll see that uh, in the centre of the screen, we've got our beautiful new middle school building. We do have a dedicated middle school space. So Norwood Moriata High School, formerly was across two campuses. Now as we come together on one campus, we've really upheld the values and the, 
the, um, the philosophy of our middle schooling, not only through our, interna our internationalised curriculum that you'll learn more about, but also through our structure as well as our philosophies. So here we have a three-storey middle school building where we have our year seven through to year nine. And at the top of the building is actually our learning community for our year, year seven students. A beautiful new space where we're filming right now actually. And you, you'll see behind me there are interconnected classrooms where our teachers and our students can connect with each other. And we're actually here in a breakout space right now. So students will not only be in their classroom, but they'll be able to then move out into the breakout spaces to connect with students from their own classes but also students in, from other classes. Going back to the um, slide though, you'll also see beautiful outdoor spaces where students can actually learn and play. Uh, on the, the top right hand image actually shows the year seven and eight terrace. This is a beautiful roof deck area where our year seven and eight students can socialise but also engage in some learning. Uh, it's a beautiful safe space for our students to be able to go to and connect with each other during recess and lunch time. So very much our new spaces are all about promoting collaboration, creativity and also connection. Not only through this uh, building process did we have the new beautiful middle school building, but we also had the innovation hub and specialist facilities that you'll get to enjoy. Uh, I'm really excited that we're going to have some stunning new um, uh, improvements as well happening in the senior school later this year and even introducing a new VR lab next year. In closing, I'd just like to remind you all of the fantastic information that is available on our website and also in the flyer information that was shared with you earlier um, this term. Um, as far as our website is concerned, you'll, you can actually uh, find the transition information where there's all this information about anything associated with the transition, whether it be key dates, uniform, laptop information, and I should say uniform fit dates as well, uh, along with the uh, information about the transition profile. So please make sure that the flyer along with the website is your, I guess your uh, one-stop shop with all information around transition. And finally, I'd just like to say that it's so exciting to welcome almost 200 Year 7 students to Norwood International High School for 2023. We really do look forward to it. We very much look forward to meeting with you all and working in partnership with your families. I'd now like to introduce you to Lucy and Oliver, two of our Year 7 students, who are going to talk to you about a day in the life of being a Year 7 student, which is really exciting. So over to Lucy and Oliver. Hello future Year 7 students, my name is Oliver and my name is Lucy. We are Year 7 students and we'll be showing the day in the life of a Year 7 student. We start our day off with our Connect lessons, which is our homeroom class. The Connect um, lessons are in each learning community and there is a room for each class. You remain with your class for most lessons such as English, Humanities, Math and Science. Connect is a perfect chance to take day map. DayMap is Nord International's classroom, assignment and lesson scheduler. Connect on Mondays and Thursdays commences when students arrive at school, but it, it lasts for a 10 minute lesson at the start of the day. But on Tuesdays and Fridays it lasts for a whole lesson where you, do the Connect, where you use the Connect programs. On Wednesday you can sleep in or do that homework since we start late. After your first two lessons of either Connect or another lesson, lessons will change depending on your schedule on DayMap. All students will be in classes with other students with similar schedules. Recess is a 20 minute break. During recess you can grab your snack and eat with your friends. Recess is a perfect time to connect with your peers. When the lunch bell rings, if you have ordered lunch, it will be brought up to the learning community so you don't have to wait outside. If you have not purchased lunch, you can bring your own or get something from the canteen. At Nord International there are multiple areas and spots you can go to hang out and play at lunch break, such as the basketball courts, the Oval Central Plaza Learning Hub, the rooftop terrace, which is many students' favourite. There are also areas you can go to just hang out with friends. Altogether, lunch goes for 40 minutes. Now lunch has ended, it's time for your last lesson of the day, but don't relax just, relax just yet. Make sure to listen and absorb all of that information. The lo this is the last lesson of your day.
This is when you may head home or to one of the many co-curricular activities that Nord International High School offers. Hello again everybody, I'm here to talk to you about um, learning in Year 7 at Nord International High School. So we're really privileged to have amazing facilities that support our middle schooling approach here at Norwood and we're complemented in that way by our curriculum which is the IBMYP which stands for International Baccalaureate Middle Years Program. So this is an internationally recognised curriculum that is designed to support the learning of young adolescents and it does this in a beautiful way. We have authentic tasks, we use some integrated learning and some team teaching and it's really about helping you explore and develop as young global learners. We also think it's really important that um, we can make good connections with school and that you have good connections with your teachers and you will have a special teacher called your Connect Teacher who you will have for at least two of your classes while you're here at Norwood International High School. On your screens right now you'll see the outline of the different subjects that you will take when you join us here in Year 7. So our Year 7 students do a full year of Mathematics, English, Science, Humanities and Languages and get a semester of Health, the Arts and Technologies. As you would know from doing some of your subject selections on admissions, you get some choice about the types of arts um, that you would like to do um, and you get a choice of your language. So hopefully you've made those choices already. The whole purpose of this program is to give you a really good taste of all of the different types of subjects that we have to offer here so that we can help you develop and your passions. On your screen right now, you have a little outline of what our high school timetable looks like for our year sevens. So Every day our classes start at 8.40 next year. Now that means you need to be in your classroom and ready to begin at 8.40. Okay, at um, the end of the day we're finishing at 3.15. So what that means is that each of these coloured boxes on your screen will represent one of the subjects that you will take. Okay, you'll find out more about those subjects uh, when you arrive in, in the first week of school, when you get your schedule. Okay, I would now like to introduce Ms Pears, Erin and Akash who are going to talk to you about student life at Nord International. Hi everyone, my name's Jane Pears and I'm currently the Director of Middle School here at Nord International High School and thank you for coming this evening. Uh, for our live stream. I, we are now going to speak a little bit about student life at Norwood International High School because I'm sure you all have lots of questions and you're thinking how can I get involved and what can I do and there are so many opportunities here at Norwood International High School. So I'll just hand over to Erin who will be starting uh, talking about student life. Good evening to all parents, carers and future Year 7 students. My name is Erin Richter. My name is Akash Ananda Krishnan. We are current Year 7 STEM enrichment students and are here today to talk about the innovative and wonderful facilities and programs Nord International High School has to offer. As you might know, the school has gone through major renovations during 2021 and we now have so many amazing new facilities. To name a few, we have new labs, classrooms, interiors for the buildings, a roof terrace and the central plaza. At NIHS, we have four different house teams, Lofty, Moralta, Mari and Torrens. Each week during Thursday's Connect lesson, students will take part in a house kahoot, where they can win points for their house. Every year there is also a sports day. Students compete in a wide range of sports and novelty events to win house points. At Norwood International, there are many special interest programs, such as STEM Enrichment, which is the program Erin and I are a part of, rowing, Italian immersion, and specialist music. We have a wide selection of clubs here at NIHS and are always looking to create new ones. To name a few, the Digital Arts Club, Chess Club, Environmental Club, Pride Club, and Japanese Cultural Club. Clubs are an excellent way to make new friends and have fun doing what you love the most. What club will you join or create? As a Year 7 student, there are some leadership opportunities that you will receive. Some include Connect Consultant, Student Guide for School Tours, MC in Assemblies, 
and being a part of the advisory committees. Finally, we'd also like to touch base about DayMap. DayMap is where you can check your timetable for lessons and teachers, upcoming messages, I mean upcoming assignments. You can also message teachers, submit tasks, view homework and check attendance and grades. That's everything from us for tonight. Have a great evening and we look forward to seeing you at Noah International High School next year. We also now welcome back Miss G to talk about key dates for 2023. Hello everybody. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about our key dates for 2023. This is the stuff you really want to know. What is going to happen between now and the end of the year to get you ready for your transition to high school? And what is going to happen um, next year when you arrive in the first week of school. So this year, the really important events are happening in week eight of term four. We have three important events, all with different purposes that are happening for you and your families in that week. And you will have already hopefully received these dates on your flyer that was sent home to families. On the Wednesday of week eight, we have our parent information evening happening at six until seven o'clock in the Ivan Howard Ivan Coward Hall, sorry, my apologies. And you can make bookings for this via the link that's on the transition flyer or by visiting our school website. On the next day, on the Thursday, we have a really important day. So on this day is our connecting with NIHS day. And this is a really important day because this is a day where you have the opportunity to share um, your uh, information about how you learn best and what we need to do to support you through your transition with your Connect teacher. So next term information will be sent to families to help them make a booking to complete this uh, interview. So the interview um, will take about 15 minutes and will give you an opportunity to sit down and your family to sit down with your teachers. On the back of your welcome letter and also on our website is a copy of this transition profile sheet. So this gives some guidelines about the kinds of things that you might do to prepare for that interview. So the whole purpose of this is for you to think about what do your teachers need to know about you as a person, as a learner to support you when you come to Norwood International High School. On the sheet you'll find some guiding questions that might be things that you want to think about and there's some suggested presentation types. You might want to do a PowerPoint or you might want to do a video but it's also really okay if what you do is come with a little set of notes of things that you would like to share that are important to you. Then the most exciting day comes after that. We are going to have you come to us here at Norwood International High School and we are going to have our visit. Okay. So this will happen on Friday the 9th of December and you will come uh, and spend the day with us from the beginning of the day to the end of the school day and during that time you'll get a chance to really orientate yourself with our campus and get to know all the different places that you're going to be learning um, and thriving in and you are going to meet some of your teachers and, and get some experience of what some of those learning areas that we talked about in the timetabling section are all about. And then finally, I would like to talk to you about what will happen next year when you first come. So our first day of school um, here for Year 7s will be on Monday the 30th of January. And that is a staggered start for all of our students. So that means that only our Year 7s and our Year 12s, who are also having a very significant year of their own, will attend school on that day. That's going to give you the opportunity to settle into the school, organise your lockers, get your timetable and familiarise yourself with where you need to go um, and be really a little bit more comfortable about working and learning in this space before all of the other students arrive. So they'll arrive the next day. The other really important um, event on our transition calendar that is in next year is our Year 7 camp. Okay, so that camp is going to be taking place at the Woodhouse Activity Centre and it'll be happening really early in the year. It's going to be happening week three. And that's going to give you an opportunity to develop those really strong positive bonds between your peers and your teachers that are going to help support you through your journey through high school. Um, so that's a wonderful event coming up. There will be more information coming out to families before the end of this year so that you are well prepared for that camp as it's so early on. Okay. So, um, we are now at the point where we're going to do some... Just do a marker about the chat. 
uh, reminder about the chat. So we're just doing a reminder. Sorry, <laughs> it's live. Um, we're doing a reminder about the chat here. So if you have questions about things that you would like us to to answer tonight, I want to remind you that you can scan this QR code and you can jump onto canva.live um, and enter this code 761556 and you will be able to lodge some questions. I'm also then going to share with you some of the key people um, that you might need to know about um, when you arrive here at Nord International High School. So, as you know, you've already um, met Ms. Pears and Ms. Van Ryten, and they are a couple of really important people to know in our school, and of course myself as the Year 7 leader. People that we don't have here tonight that are also really important people to know a face and a name is Ms. Amanda Walsh, she's our Deputy Principal. Um, Ms. Yates, Ms. Cindy Yates, she's our Year 7, 8 Student Wellbeing Leader, and she's here to support the wellbeing of our Year 7 and 8 students and Mr. Sean Walsh, who's our Director of Wellbeing for Learning. So these are faces that you will likely see around. They're people that you can come to for support as you transition into Nord International High School. Okay. So what we'd like to do now is we would like to actually be able to respond to some of your questions. And we already have a number of questions coming through. Um, and uh, we're, we're actually going to be supported by Mr. Armand, who's sitting in the background, so he's going to be telling us what some of those <laughs> questions are shortly. But initially, there are some questions about laptops. What we can tell you uh, is that uh, our laptops, we do encourage all of the Year 7 and 8 students uh, in our school to have the same laptop. So if you wanted to know information about the specific brand, um, how you can purchase the laptop, that is all on our website. But please ensure it is actually following the specifications and the requirements that we do indicate. And there are reasons for that. First of all, it's really, it's much easier for our teachers and also indeed for each of the students to be able to work and support each other with the same device. So it's the same brand, it's exactly the same device. Uh, we also have sometimes some issues with charging. Even though we do want students to charge their laptops every day, sometimes students do need to charge. And if they happen to have the same laptop, then we've got the chargers. So students can actually borrow the chargers from either the Learning Hub or their learning community leader so they can go ahead and charge. And of course, they'll be tested and tagged and they are all compliant with work health safety requirements. In addition to that, uh, we do have IT support and they're very familiar with those devices as well. So we just really encourage everyone to ensure that you do look at that information and you purchase those at the device that we recommend. Mm -hmm. We do know that some families uh, are on school card and for, if, if that happens to be you then you are most uh, welcome to and are entitled to seek a loan laptop from the school and there's information about that on the website too. Perfect. So we've just got some notes here. Um, diaries maybe Oh, Why don't fantastic. You talk about yes, I'd be very happy to talk about diaries. Um, there will be some communication coming out shortly to invite you as future uh, NIHS students to enter our diary art competition. So each year we have a, a diary art competition where students submit artwork to feature on the cover of the student diary. So um, we give all of our middle school students a student diary, and this is a method for um, helping our students be organised um, and, and getting into the routines of high school and helping them manage things like homework and assignment due dates and those sorts of things. So we do do some work in our Connect program, helping students develop those organisational skills and a diary is an important part of that. So that's something that you will receive at the beginning of your school year. What I can also, I'd also like to talk to you about is uniform, because that's always something that people are already asking questions of, but we continue to respond to different questions. So of course we are a very proud uniform school, and it is absolutely essential that every student wears their school uniform and the appropriate school uniform. This year we've gone through a little bit of an int um, a phase in of the new Norwood International High School uniform, in particular the sports uniform. So for our year seven, eight and nine students, so any student who's actually in the middle school building and those students, um, they will be of course undertaking some PE. So, so all of our um, middle school students are permitted to wear their sports uniform only on the days that they have sport. 
so they so students will not need to wear the other school uniform the beautiful uniform that you've seen the students wear tonight but you can actually wear the sports uniform and we've now got a brand new track suit and also um, so track jacket track track suit um, for our students to be able, able to wear um, as of next term in addition to this we've also got our students to, um, sorry, in addition to this, we also have a number of other items, including a new rugby top for students to be able to access. Mm. I know that many new families are very keen to buy the uniform, but we do encourage you to go along to a fit night, and those dates and times are available on our website, for you to actually um, make a booking and then for, the for your child to be able to try on the uniform and make your selection. It's sometimes a good idea to order a whole lot of the uniform items and pick them up at the beginning of the new school year but there are an ex there is an extensive range available for all students and so please check out the website for more information I've just got one there was a, a question about clubs um, someone was asking about what sort of clubs and how do we join if you want more information about the clubs just go onto the the school website and you can hover you go to co-curricular hover over the club and it will tell you all about each of those clubs and there's even updated reports about what each of our clubs are doing right now. Mm. So you can see some of the activity of our social justice club and some of our other clubs if you go there onto the uh, school website. And actually with that in mind, someone's just gone and asked a question about the use of the gymnasium um, at lunch and recess time. We do have specific days, and once again, clubs access the gymnasium at different times, but it's very popular for sport, as is our weights room. And we do have specific times and dates uh, days for our uh, for the whole school, as we also do for just the different year levels, so middle school, for example. So yes, you can access those areas, including the weights room. Mm -hmm. James, uh, what questions do we have? Well, to, to start off with, Jake is obviously asking the most important questions. Um, are there meat pies available at the canteen? Uh, you, once again, you can go <laughs> onto our website and see the huge menu available. Um, but yes, there are, and there are hot dogs, and yes. there are all sorts of delicious things, but there are also, it's quite an international menu. So please check out the, the menu on our website. On the topic of uh, canteen and lunch, though, mm -hmm. um, I will say um, it's a really good idea to order your lunch. And we do use the Quicker app here at um, Nord International High School. And you may be familiar with that, depending on what primary school you are coming from. Um, but we really advocate for that. As the students mentioned earlier, we have lunch monitors at Year 7 who bring their lunches up to the Year 7 learning community so that our Year 7s don't have to wait in a long line to connect their lunch. So um, that is that is a facility that we have. So you can order all of that wonderful selection via the Quicker app next year when you are here. The next question. Next question is, how long do the students stay on camp? Ah, good question. So it is an overnight camp for us at Woodhouse. Because we are such a large cohort, we actually have to split our Year 7s into two groups to be able to go because there are so many of us. So what that will mean is that one group will go on day one and day two, and the second group will leave on day two and come back day three. So overall, our Year 7s are all out um, over three days, but it's in two halves. Cool. Uh, there's a question I'm assuming probably from a parent is what time does the late start happen on the Wednesday? Our, our timetable is actually changing slightly for next year so for all continuing families with us um, mm -hmm. you would be very familiar with our professional learning communities on Wednesday mornings formerly Wednesday afternoons but this is something that as a school we've had for many many years and it's really assisted us to develop the capacity of our teachers and uh, and I really believe it's supported us to ensure that mm -hmm. we've got that trend of improvement and, and improving results. So it's on Wednesday morning again next year and we will be starting the school day at 10 o'clock. We do expect students to arrive each morning um, 10, at least 10 minutes before the school day because mm. we want them to be really well organised and ready to start the lesson. So school will start at 8.40 next year. So students will need to be in class on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday mornings and 10 o'clock on Wednesday but the school day will also finish at 3.15. So we start five minutes earlier next year and we're going to finish five minutes earlier as well. Cool. Uh, the next question I might be able to answer, actually. Um, it's about <laughs> can we get a copy of these slides? So this YouTube video, um, as it's going out at the moment, it will be saved, it will be up there, and we'll make sure that the slide links are available, uh, or the slideshow, sorry, is available as a link 
underneath that video, so you'll be able to access it from there. Uh, next question is, can, can we request a house? Ooh. Uh, I know that what we do try to do, because we used to only have three <laughs> houses and now we've introduced four, and that's partly because, of course, the school size has increased mm. so much. Uh, you can, but what we do try to do is we, uh, and I can't guarantee that that will happen, because we try to put families into the same houses as well. Mm. So it determines, uh, it's depending on numbers. And also when we organise uh, each classroom, and so mm. um, yeah. we as the transition team will be organising and using the information that you share with us through the transition profile and also what your schools share with us, we'll be organising class groups. And in each class we need to make sure that we have a bit of a balance of the we four do. houses. Yeah. Awesome. So we'll try. <laughs> That's it. Um, everyone's favourite topic, school shoes. Um, mm. What are our requirements around school shoes? School shoes mm. is probably one of the challenging areas in terms of uniform, I have to be really honest. Mm. Of course, students can wear um, sports shoes when they are in their sports uniform, but at all other times we're expecting them to wear their full uniform, including black leather shoes. So in fact, I, we should have a shot of the students tonight. <laughs> They're wearing perfect shoes. There are examples on the website of mm. the sort of shoes that we do expect. They need to, we dock martins as long as they are not the ankle boots. Um, sometimes students will try for those. Uh, but it needs to be, so please don't look go looking for Doc Martens, that's just one example, that the, if they've got the ankle area covered, that is not appropriate. Um, we do need to make sure that they are hard-soled shoes as well, so a leather sports shoe is not appropriate. It needs to be something that will support the students so that when they are in a practical area, they're also going to be safe. Mm. And uh, But there are a number of examples, including what's not appropriate on our website. Okay. The Mary Jane shoe is not appropriate either. And that's the one with the strap going across the foot. Awesome. Um, a question around um, out-of-bounds areas for specific year levels. Are there oh. spaces that are actually kind of designated for different year levels? That's a fantastic question. And yes, there are. So um, one of the things, the decisions that we made when we brought everybody together on this campus was that we did need to have a space for our younger students that could be a safe space as they transition into the high school environment. So our year seven and eight students are very privileged to have our rooftop terrace area all to themselves. And it is by far the best view from a play space in South Australia. So 360 um, degree views. 360 degree views of the city. Um, so, and my favorite place to do yard duty. Uh, so that space is preserved just for our younger students. Um, in, the, in the wider central plaza area and on our courts, um, students can mix with uh, other year levels um, and tend to do so reasonably quickly from the beginning of the year once students feel a bit comfortable with the campus. So we do have that space that's just for them um, and we do have some spaces over towards the senior area that they tend to um, just stick to. Um, but then all of that part in the middle of our campus, which you've got a glimpse of in some of um, Jackie's photos, uh, is shared space for our students. Um, we've got a question around riding to school and safe storage of bikes if people want to ride to school. Yes. Jane, do you want to take that one? Yeah, so yes, we've got um, um, space for, we've got bike racks, we've got a couple of areas with bike racks for students to mm. put their bikes and, and we encourage students to ride to school. So and scooters. It, and scooters mm. and we've got places for all of those. That's one of the bonuses of having our, our new facilities that we have, have lots of places for students to store their bikes and scooters. Mm. And in terms of storage, you can see behind us some beautiful lockers as well. So the mm. students have their own lockers and they are combination locks, so they don't need to provide their own locker, uh, sorry, lock. Yep. We will organise the lockers for them just outside of their Connect class and they will be able to keep everything nice and safe in there as well. And of course, we do have cameras around the school for additional security if needed. So working perfectly on with lockers, a, a double-ended question, do, the, do we get to actually select our code for our lockers <laughs> and can we decorate our lockers? Ah, I've heard these questions before. Um, so you absolutely get to select your code for your locker. So when you start on that first day and that staggered start next year, part of that process will be organising your lockers and setting your code so that, and, and we really want to emphasise, keep your code to yourself um, so that you're the only person who knows it. Um, in terms of decorating our lockers, as you can see, um, on the outside, absolutely not. 
on the inside, anything that might be done inside your locker must be non-permanent. So um, many of our students choose to actually set up their lockers with some beautiful little organisation dividers or little pen pots. I've seen all sorts of interesting things happening on the inside, but the outsides need to stay nice and clean. And a copy of the timetable. A lot of students put a copy of the timetable. Yeah, that's a great And strategy. students who've been here before, you will love, or who you've got older brothers or sisters who've been here, you will love the new lockers <laughs> because you don't have to bring a padlock uh, mm -hmm. you have your own locker it's that they're bigger than the older ones so yeah, uh, you'll find them really useful yeah we seem to be getting all the really curly interesting questions mobile phones Ooh. are we allowed to have mobile phones at school um, I know that many parents want their children to have mobile phones but we as a school uh, do follow the department's policy and we have a mobile phone and, and device policy that we so we do not allow students to actually use their mobile phones during the school day. Uh, if they have them on them, we prefer that they're, they're not seen at all mm -hmm. and they are also stored away in their lockers for safety and security. Um, it is, and there are a range of reasons for that and there's a, obviously there's information also on our website about the mobile phone policy, but it is something that we do not encourage middle school um, students to actually use. Senior school students, it is slightly different in how we actually support students to use it because sometimes it's actually about their learning as well. But in terms of learning, our students have actually got the most appropriate and up-to-date um, devices. There's technologies in the room. We provide a range of other technologies as well. So there is no need to use a mobile phone. All right, we've got an another question here. Is it easy to get lost in this school? Because it's so big. You know, That's a good I think that it is, for everybody, it is easy to get lost. But you know, you're going to have a day coming here in transition, and you're going to have mm. some, some old, some year seven buddies, probably these students themselves, helping you around and showing you around. Mm. You'll end up having some fun orientation activities Absolutely. as well to get around. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, don't forget, you'll be coming and starting with us again on the very first day and you'll be only with just no. the year 12s. In fact, you probably won't even see the year 12s. So you'll have that chance to familiarise yourself with the space. We have maps everywhere. People are very, very friendly and I'm sure you, the students would agree that <laughs> within a matter of days, you will know exactly where you need to go. Perfect. Um, a quick question about the timetable, I guess, as a reminder, how many lessons are there in a day? Mm. Is it seven? So there are seven, <laughs> and the timetable is slightly changing from this year. Um, so what we'll do is, and this is particularly for parents as well as for students, is that we have a parent handbook, and that mm. currently it's, it's obviously for 2022, and that is on our website, but we will be updating that before the end of the year, and all of that sort of information will be available. The timetable has only just recently been uh, finalised mm. and supported by the Governing Council and also by our staff, so that will also be available on our website for everybody to look at. But quite frankly, you would have seen that the website has opportunities uh, for your teachers to see you, and to, for you to do your subject three times in the week, and you will have some larger lessons and some shorter lessons mm. as well um, to support you and your class to actually do a range of different activities. Um, I think there's two more to go. So, um, do we need to use um, a school specific school bag, or can we have our own I'll version of a bag? In fact, um, we do have a school bag, and we encourage students to use that school bag. But not everybody does. We do want students to have a choice with their school mm. bags. But I do want to emphasise: it is really a good idea to check out the school bag at UMS. Not only because it's reduced right now, and we do have a sale, so I just let everyone know that there is a sale on uniform for the old Norwood Morialta High School logoed uniform until the end of the holidays, and the school bag is part of that. It will have Norwood Morialta High School on it, but it is a very, it's large, it fits beautifully into the lockers, and it is ergonomic. And I think that's really important given all of the things that students do carry. Mm -hmm. So it's your choice. But we do encourage you to um, to obviously purchase the school un as the school bag. Awesome. And the final part isn't, I guess, a question. It's more of a comment. So 
Uh, a parent from one of our comments was that they love the new uniform, so they're very Thank happy. Thank you. <laughs> so do we. We do too. And the student, uh, the comment that they've sent through is that they're, they're really excited to start here okay. next year. They're really looking forward to you it know, and feeling very We happy. are all so excited so to excited. meet Let you all. and welcome you into the school. We hope that tonight has actually ignited some more excitement as well for you all. And you've learned a whole lot of information about our school. Um, you've, you've heard about the different co-curricular opportunities that our students have shared with you as well. There is so much happening here at this place. And uh, as I said, we can't wait for you to come along and to, to see it. It's going to be a really lovely size group next year, around really about beautiful. 200 students. Yeah. So there'll be plenty of space for you as well. And, uh, and I, I really have to say to all of the parents out there that Jane and Danny will provide such wonderful care for your, ch for your children in Year 7. Mm. I know that Jane <laughs> is the Year 7 leader, but she's almost going to be like the Year 7 <laughs> mum, school mum for your children. And uh, the partnership that we have with our families um, just goes from strength to strength. So we do look forward to working very closely with all of the parents and carers out there in uh, Streamland. Um, <laughs> and, and finally, I think in closing, we do encourage you to, as I keep on saying, check out our website, uh, mm. communicate with us as well via uh, even our website. You can send more questions through to us mm. or just simply through our website. Um, there's a whole range. Uh, Danny's on there, so you can yep. send emails directly through to her through our contacts. Uh, but please check out all the information there. It will be updated regularly as mm. well. And we will send, we send a lot of text messages and emails about any of those updates. But mm. I guess, thank you very much for joining us. We've been delighted. Mm. It's a shame that we can't see you, but we do hope that you've learnt an awful lot tonight and, uh, and that you're going to be excited to join us next term. We do look forward to meeting the parents mm. at our parent information evening as well. So thank That's you, fun. everyone. Take care and have a wonderful holiday coming up too. Good night. <laughs>